call center report in Power BI. So we're going to be creating this particular uh, call center report you can see right here. So it's very dynamic. So we can filter through it by using this particular uh, team leaders uh, right here. So actually, let's see how many calls and actually how many calls are picked, how many calls are not answered and stuff like that. So we can see all the metrics right here. If I actually come right here now, you can see total calls accepted, applied, not picked, and all with offer and transferred and all of that. So now we can see that part of it. Now we want to have the top 10 based on the call agents. So we have it right here for you guys. So now we're going to actually create all this together. You can see what percentage do they really add and based on monthly basis so we want to actually go ahead and start creating this from the scratch i have the table view as well now i'm going to be creating a very dynamic table just like this if i go on a team leader right now it's going to give me how many agents are actually on that particular team leader and we can actually go ahead and filter through under team leader right here and we can clear the filter so right now we're going to be dwelling on the home page right here how to create this very nice home page in power bi all of that it tells a lot of story about our data so we're gonna go ahead and create this and we can filter it and it's very dynamic just like what we have seen um, in the previous video which is in the excel version so let me take you to the excel version to see what is going on right here on the excel version on the excel version we have this we can actually hide the filter and actually show the filter again i'll have the home page just like what we have in power bi as well okay we will be creating everything from the scratch so if you are interested in the excel version it's right here on our channel go to the playlist and take a look at how we just got this created and actually create your own as well very dynamic very interactive so go ahead and take a look at how we just got this created and see for yourself how you can actually achieve the same thing over and over again by actually following our tutorial step by step so right now let us hop back to power bi environment and here we go how, how okay now how do we start i'm gonna go right here on the file everywhere uh, area right here so i'm gonna go on new and now we're gonna come up with new Power BI so that we can actually import our data to uh, Power Query, have it transformed and actually start analysis. Right now the Power BI is actually coming up. Let's give it some little time to actually get itself right here. All right, here we are on the Power BI section. So what we're gonna do right now, we want to use this particular get data uh, button right here. I'm gonna click on it. And now it's gonna actually uh, give me a lot of way to connect to my data. And I'm gonna choose which one I really want to use to have my data connected. So now if you're new to Power BI, welcome to Power BI environment. So right now we just have to get our data and start get to uh, analyze what it is. So now we have various ways of getting data right here. But the one we're gonna be consigning ourselves much but right now is this particular excel workbook right here you can either double click it or you come right here and say connect and now it's going to be connecting to where you have it there now it navigates us to our system to actually choose from where the data is sitting so right here i'm going to click on my desktop can you see that i click on my desktop and it opens this for me now i have my data sitting right in this particular dashboard that is where i always have my data right in and now this is the next foot i'm going to open again call center so have the data downloaded and follow along step by step i'm going to be giving you a link to have the data downloaded to your system and follow step by step on how we can actually go about it okay now i'm going to choose this i double click it i'm going to be having it in a gf right here so it's creating connection to my data and bringing it up is my choice to either push it into power bi from the first time or allow it to go to power query for cleaning okay we have this right here now if i click on this right now it's just going to actually go ahead and just show me what i have right in here and if i click on this table version it's going to show me what i have so right now what i'm interested in is this particular data part here that is my fact table this is the dimensional table i want to use and this is the second dimensional table we want to use right so now we've just gotten this right here so what are we going to do next so we have to go all the way down and load but we don't want to load this instead we want to actually transform this before we have it loaded i'm going to click on this okay and now let's see how we go about this okay guys i'm gonna tell you welcome to power query environment so here we are in the power query environment so the data that we need to transform very very importantly is actually the fact table uh, i'm going to name this particular one call it um fact table fact our table like this so i'm gonna hit enter right now that is the name of our table those are the dimensional table right here. i'm gonna leave it this way though so what you first i'm gonna do i'm going to remove the first two words i'm gonna go to home and from home we can see how we can remove the first row and we want to remove top row right here 
Now we're gonna have a little box pop up right now. So here we go, we have it. So I'm gonna specify how many rows I wanna have from month just two. I'm gonna press okay right here and I've done that. The next thing I'm gonna do right now is this particular header. I wanna deal with it. So use first row as header would just naturally uh, definitely work for us. So now if I go right here, it added all this stuff for us. So we promoted the header, we removed first row and all of that. So we have all the changes. Okay, what is the next up that the next we're gonna do, we can do right now? Uh, I wanna actually make sure I show you something. Uh, you can go to view and from view you can see uh, column quality right here so let's see what the column quality is all about so we can see this particular arrow is zero empty we have one empty all of that so which means it's not really 100 percent and we want to get this 100 percent. so how do we go about that so the validation should be 100 percent. for we to get validation 100 percent right now we need to remove the what the null away from it and mind you before you remove the null if you are working for a company or for a client just have to ask the client if the null should be replaced with any other value if she says or if he says no you can go ahead and truncate it just like i'm doing right now i have it removed i'm gonna click ok and let's see what we have right here updated 100 percent we have it ice clean right so we can actually still verify through going to other columns the last column and see if everything is okay right here no 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 we have 100 percent empty which means we have to make sure we get it away from here i'm gonna click on my shift key click on the last column right here after i might have done that right click and actually go and say remove column Boom, this is what we have gotten right here. No error, no nothing. We have everything 100%. And I can come back right here and turn this off because I am cool with what I have right now. So what is next for me to do? This is the only column I want to actually work with. Now I can go ahead and transfer this to my Power BI environment and start running my analysis the way it should be okay thank you guys keep staying because we're gonna be doing a lot with this okay right now i'm gonna click right here and it says close and what close and load and we have close and apply and we have close let me tell you the difference between this if we close and apply is we're gonna close and apply it everything we've done right here is gonna be applied to what we're gonna have on power bi and if we just say apply that means we just come right here and runs little changes and we can actually apply it and it goes right there so we want to close and load it so but if we just close it's just gonna close without loading the changes we have made so this is what we're gonna use all right it's gonna take a little while to actually have itself right here let's give you some time to create connection dictate our what our relationship and stuff like that so if you can see right here it's actually coming up gradually let us just give it a little while to have itself right here guys so if you are actually here for the first time you might want to consider subscribing to my youtube channel because we're gonna be doing a lot about power bi excel and powerpoint in no time so we have a lot to come for you guys keep watching share this video and any other video you you love so now we have it right here can you see that quickly i want to create one table before we start to do anything i want to create that table it's very important for me i used to create a table every single time i make analysis and right now i just want to have to come right here and have this collapse okay fine we have this so now i'm going to be on home and from there i'm going to see this particular i can see now enter data i'll click that enter the uh, data right here let me see the pop-up we're going to have in jv so we have this just go down and actually name this table to all okay i have named this all measures this is where 80 percent of my measures are going to be created in so i'm just going to say load and now it's going to get itself loaded right here and we'll find it right here in the gfe okay now here we go we have it right here this is our all measure right here uh, but before we go ahead and do anything stupidly let me just go ahead to what to the data view to show you what is going on right here the data we just have loaded from the fact table here is it we have the fact table and those are the columns we're going to be taking care of right here to make use of and actually create a very nice looking uh, report or dashboard whatever you want to call it so now let us go to relationship area because it's very very paramount so we want to actually uh, make sure we have connection between our fact table and our dimensional table right here i'm just gonna move this right here okay now this is the table we just got created it's what i call supporting our table it's just supporting our uh, the table it has no connection or relationship but is okay it's very healthy if you actually go by this uh, kind of way to have your report created it's gonna make you to have a very nice work okay fine i'm just gonna make sure i have this go down and let me show you what's going on right here we have one too many relationship right here and what it does is this i'm just gonna collapse this to make sure i show you what's going on right here if i hover over you can see team leader id and the other team leader id from the fact table and what and the and dimensional table is being actually joined together so we have one here and we have this that shows many 
you who just want to mend a relationship is something is happening right here but we don't have to concern ourselves uh, ourselves much about it so the relationship is actually being dictated uh, automatically for us so now go back uh, if you are not actually using the updated um, power bi please update your power bi there are so many features you can actually enjoy right on the updated one okay the first thing we're going to do right now is that this particular place we are actually going to use this for our home page i'm going to say home okay for just home and if we go back to the previous work we had done you can see how the home page is looking so we want to make sure we have a very nice design just like what we have right here right now so what do we do how do we go about it let us just go and start from the scratch and how and see how we can actually get that created so here we are first of all we need to change the background color of this particular uh place so we just want to Go on this particular format and from format want to click on what want to click on this particular background and now we can change the background color i want to choose this particular black color right here so it's not reflecting right now so we just have to make it some kind of zero percent i drag it all the way from here down to the zero percent and now we have this dark color so having this dark color is not enough what are we supposed to do we need to get an image right here how do we go about that it's very simple and easy go to us you just have to go to insert and from insert click on it it has it's gonna actually have this open for us go to images so from images click on it and you have to go to your system to get where you have your images sitting so now i have a folder named images i'm gonna click it and right here in the images too i'm gonna double click it again i'm gonna scroll all the way down and get what i really wanted so i have it Okay, here we go. We have this right here. I'm going to be leaving you with a folder that I'm going to have every single shape I used in. So now we can either double click it or come here and say open. And let us see what's going to happen right now on the Power BI environment. So we have it right here. I'm just going to make sure I have it this way and all of that. So now can you see that? So we are almost there. Just a little <laughs> almost there. So the next we're going to do right now is just for we to use this particular text box to actually add a text to our report or our dashboard. So what are we going to do? Now I'm going to type in a uh, call. Call center. That is exactly what I, what I need to do. Call center. I control A to have it highlighted so that I can actually format it. So quickly, I'm just going to come down here and make sure it goes to 42 exactly 42 is okay and i'm gonna make it bold and after being bold i'm gonna put it on this particular uh, kind of one uh, 10 percent dark white so that is exactly what it is so after we have gotten this ready so what is the next thing for we to do just make sure we actually set it right and take it to where it's gonna be okay fine nicely we have to move it from here down to this particular aspect here i'm gonna move it Okay, we want to have it centralized, so that is exactly what it is. So now I can go ahead and move it a little bit. But we are not quietly interested in what we have right here because it's some kind of weird. So I'm going to click back on it and come to this particular aspect and turn off the, uh, the background. And here we go. Nicely, we have this. So one more text box, we go again. And here we're going to type in three dash. And I'm going to type in months here in case you're not seeing it too well. So I'm going to type in months. Oh, uh, inside three months inside so inside so that's exactly what it's do so control a again we just have to format it so come right here and actually pick um make it 20 and that here we go we want to put it on something like what yeah we go with this right now and then we just have to go and make sure we uh get inside in Okay, insert is like we have problem with our insert, right? But let me just format this for now. Okay, good to go. And now we just have to move it away from here. I'm gonna put it right here. So trim on inside, and I'm gonna go ahead and get it down to this particular aspect. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take the background off. And here we go, trim on inside. That's exactly what we have gotten in the previous one we have designed. So the design is very important. So right now we can go ahead and start writing the uh, DAX code that's gonna help us to get our data transformed, clear, and I mean, uh, analyzed, and show the kind of insights we wanna show right on it. So the first thing we're gonna do right now is just to come to this particular aspect where we have all measures. So to create measures right now, if you're here for the first time and you've not used Power BI before, now you can actually use this particular place to actually get your new measure created. Or still, you can actually right click and say new measure is all the same. So let's see what is going to happen in the Jiffy. We have a new measure uh, created, uh, created. So here we go. The new measure has been created for us automatically. So what are we going to do? I'm going to type in total. 
cost. So total cost is going to be equal to. So all we need to do, we need to locate where we have the column of cost in our uh, um, sorry, in our dimensional table. Sorry, not dimensional table. I'm talking about fact table. In our fact table, I'm going to say cost. So uh, cost, yeah, cost. Type cost. It, we can do that. Sorry to, say, to do that. I'm going to say sum. So we're summarizing the call uh, table. So call. Now, when I say call, the fact table pops up with calls. So, which means this is where the column is. I'm going to show you what we've just done in a GFA because I want you to get it from the scratch. Specifically to those that are not some kind of very familiar with Power BI. So, we've just got it created right here. And now we, ha we are good with it. So, I'm just going to make sure it's an actually a um, separator or a thousand separator because we have over 50,000 calls. So, if I go back to my table version right now, you can see right here we have what we have all the total calls in this particular column on this particular fact table we have right here so on the fact table we have a column named calls so that is exactly what it is so we have to go back to our report view and after we are here right on our report view let's see what we're gonna do do we really need to actually create that is very important because we want to actually have to branch away from that particular call to see many team leaders of uh, uh, progress throughout the three months data we have right here so let's see how we can actually bend our wheel down to that particular aspect okay we are back here let's see what we're gonna do now we have to actually create what we want to create right in here so this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna have to come to the home area and now we need to insert a new measure and this new measure we will actually have to branch toward to uh create three buckets and what are those three buckets the three buckets are actually gonna be uh this particular uh call uh, calls from team leaders like how many calls they oversee uh, using uh, this particular uh, through their uh, call agent and stuff like that so you will definitely understand what I'm trying to say right in the GFA so what kind of function can we use to actually get this created it's very simple out of that so I'm gonna type in what in calls here I'm gonna be using equal to and now we are going to use this particular function called count count a oh sorry um calculates function the calculate function is going to help us to do this and what is the expression we have to provide uh for the calculate function it's going to be total well the total cost we have created right so now here we go we have it so i'm going to put my comma we are looking for filter right now so we have our what our dimensional table linked with our fact table and right there we have what we call team leader right so the team leader name is what we need to do uh use right now so i'm going to type on my top key right here and uh, now so what I need to do is just like I have to copy this particular table that's name right here to actually get a filter to get just exactly the cost that is peculiar to this particular team leader. And right here, I'm going to top a type in my equal to. If I just go ahead and actually place it just like this right now, um, Power BI is going to be thinking some kind of new function which does which never existed, so it's going to throw out some the errors. So it's not going to work that way. Put on your question mark and have it pasted in and close the question mark again. Then you have to close the bracket of what of the calculate you have open. Now, if I click on my enter key oh that is exactly what it is so we have just done a very good justification to this so let's see if it is going to actually work i mean if what we have just gotten created is actually right or whatsoever no no never it's not gonna work it's not gonna work the way we think of it so we have blank what the heck are you trying to do right here are you playing with our intelligence no it works but something happened let me show you what just happened right here uh if you look at this here I go back to the formula i'm gonna go through this particular aspect right here there is no comma but if we go to the data i'm gonna go to the data view right here and go ahead and put on the team leader okay here we go right click on the team leader right here we have some commas right here which is not supposed to be in names that was what we ought to have done before we transform our data to power bi environment so now what are we supposed to do i just did that to just make sure that if you have any problem you can always go back to what go back to transform data and actually have it fixed in power query so right now we are about to get it uh, some kind of uh, corrected. So let's see what we're going to do. Now I'm going to click on that team leader right here. And the same thing we have seen previously is what we still have right here. So I'm just going to right click on it and go for what? Go for replace values. So once I actually click on replace values, what are we going to do right now? I just want to actually replace the comma with nothing. I mean, if I say nothing, I mean nothing at all. I'm going to click on OK. Right now we have it fixed and it added a new step for us seeing this now. It says, it says 
replace value and now this is what it is so we have to do that to the same uh to this particular agent dimensional table as well so click all right click on it and go for what replace value here we go we have to replace it comma with nothing and we go back down and actually click on ok nicely we have all of them removed okay let's see what's going to happen if i close and apply right now let's go back there and uh, after it has been loaded we can actually go and check it out to see if that is being fixed automatically for us so going back right here right now if i click on it it's about to get fixed so right now it's been fixed everything is working so well that is exactly big well done guys okay now we don't have to create this over and over again uh right in the function over and over again so what we need to do right now is just to have it copied away from here once we have it copied we can insert a new what a new merger to create for another team leader that is exactly what we need to do so right now we have to be smart with what we do have it pasted already i have the names of the team leaders right here so we've used this the second one to be used right now is this and just make a little trick changes right here i'm gonna get this changed to this oh sorry for that so we highlighted the wrong place so now change this and come right here to change the filter aspect here i'm gonna go ahead and have it change as well so we have done this i'm gonna click on ok that is all we need to do and after we might have committed this and it's working well for us so we can go ahead and have this copied once again and now create a new measure to create the last one and we are about to get a very dynamic home page report created so now i have this pasted so what am i going to do i need to get the get back to what to not part and i have to get this particular uh one here copy from here so we are back right here now we need to actually make sure we change the aspect that needs to be changed to make sure what you just copied is very correct so we're gonna correct something right here we have a letter go with letter j okay so now we go with j so uh we have to make sure we paste the same thing right here as well i'm gonna copy this copy from here and now i have it pasted in here so we just have to just say okay right now everything is working fine so you, you might want to do your verification so turn it into a table and now we just have to add the uh, okay sorry for this oh goodness so something comes up we need to actually get it fixed so we created this in the wrong place and this is not working due to one or two problems so we want to see what the problem is why is it not working for us does it mean it's not correct all of that is not giving us value any value so you want to see what the problem is right that we're not having value let us just go and troubleshoot that and see what the problem is okay now if you look at this particular our uh, team leader's name is not really correct the way we wrote it so we want to go back and make sure we have it changed and come right here what we need to have right here is just o oh, the o letter is going to be here and we have to replace that same o letter right here as well and now let's actually commit it and see what it is that we have if this is gonna work oh he just did a troubleshoot and it should work definitely it works it works very very well so i'm gonna go right here and click somewhere else and now we have it is working so fine for us so now what happens what do i want to fix this is exactly what it is so we have it right on the on this particular agent um table right here which i don't want so we want to have it right here how do we move it so let's see how we can move it down from here to there okay so what we need to do to get this moved right here is just to make sure you click on what you want to move after i have clicked that you can see this measure tools right here so you come to this particular this is the name you we have just got the going click right now so i'm gonna come right here you go ahead and watch here as well and if i go here now you can see where it says home table so i'm gonna come right here and say okay i want to move this down to this particular aspect let's see what happens right now so it's gonna get itself moved down automatically can you see it has been moved and if you want to get this one moved away from here click on it and go back here and actually change it to where you want to have it moved to this particular team leader as well let's go back you are still having it right here now we're gonna have it away so that's exactly what we need to do sometimes mistakes makes you to learn so the mistake we had just made made us to actually learn something new which i never thought i could actually uh, tell you by now so beautifully we have this so now we have to do something else branch away from here this is not where we are going if you see the final part of this particular dashboard we are not actually uh using that particular uh the good analysis we had made so what we want to see is the percentages so how do we go by the percentages right here create this nice visual so we go back here i'm gonna click right here now and that is what we're gonna do 
we have to create percentages for every single thing because we don't want to show the values right so how do we go ahead and do that so we have to come back right here i'm going to start with this so this name is kind of incorrect i have to make sure it's correct this and here we go we have to correct this when i copy it it's something weird happened so i'm gonna go ahead and have it copied and go right here and i'm gonna make sure i have here could now create a new measure new measure and let's see what measure is gonna be okay for the new merger we're gonna use percentage and after yeah right here is gonna be percentage give us paste and have the name paste right now so we're gonna create a percentage of this code call under his work so i'm gonna type in my uh, equal to and what are we supposed to do we are going to use divide function divide and what are we going to divide so we're going to divide the calls under his watch by the total calls the uh company receive all from the uh, call agent so now i'm going to type his name right now with just the fourth letter it pulled out uh, it pulled out there was the measure we got created previously before now if i hit my comment right now so it's looking for what the denominator so what are we supposed to do is going to be the total calls the first measure we had created is what it's going to give to us right now we have it now we have to make sure we go call my game the alternative result should be zero and you have it closed and hit enter that is exactly what you need to do to have it created and we have just done a very good justification to uh, this all right now we're going to have it on percentage and just make it on one single dash map and all of that so we've just gotten this done and we don't have to do this over and over again so what are we supposed to do we just have to copy just like usual this one is even easier than what we had done previously have it copied away from here go ahead and create a new measure and once new measure is being created what you need to do is just for you to have it pasted right in paste it and if you remember the letter or the first letter of what of every single uh uh, agent um, a, a team leader you just have to type it like if i type in w right now it's going to give me this particular team leader's name uh, out there so all i need to do right now to make sure i change the the, the heading of what i'm creating the percentage come right here and have it pasted and go right here and just commit it boom we have it created so sometimes you need to be very smart at what you do the percentage is what it is so efficiency is everything just look around and see what you can do to make sure you don't write the same uh code or ducks over and over again and the same thing we've just done is what we're going to do again i'm going to actually have to highlight this go right here and actually come here and actually insert a new merger and once we've done that i'm just going to go ahead and have this pasted again and the first letter of the next um team leader is what i need to actually type in here which is this we've not created for this and right now i'm just going to go ahead and actually copy from here Control c i'm going to have it pasted in here now this is what it is that we need to do finally we have just gotten this created and that is awesome so we go on percentage one decimal point is okay enough all right guys nicely we have all of them right here so the percentage makes them to be grouped at the same spot uh, at the same spot though all right we just have to start creating our chart to create our charts what are we supposed to do we want to insert this particular donor charts right here i'm going to click on it and what am i going to use to create this donor chart so the total calls and uh, by the agent this particular agent call right here that is exactly what i need to do so right now i want to come to uh, this particular format and turn off the legends turn off the data label turn off the uh, uh, this particular um title and turn off the background as well so after i might have done this i want to come down to this particular data color and i'm going to change this to this particular uh type of color right here beautifully we have something like this this is exactly what we need to do and now i need to make it smaller to fit into what we are looking for all right so i want to move it this end i want to move it so make sure we see this red before we have it released and now we can actually make sure it goes this way uh we can make it bigger a little bit than this so what about this this is nice so we can actually copy and have it pasted uh move it copy have it pasted and move it so right now they are not actually on equal line so hold on your control and highlight everything together and after you might have done the highlights so just go to insert and from insert you click on this particular format and now we go to align and you want to say distribute horizontally and now that's exactly what it is so go back again and say distribute vertically we have this so we just go back again and use this particular top right here 
and we have it lined up the way it should be now we have something like this are we cool with what we have i, I guess we are we are really cool with what we have click on this and make sure we make it this way and this one is gonna go this way a little bit so now we just have to just do a little touch and make sure we have something nicely okay oh sorry for that i guess i have something else clicked before i actually do this we get it back again okay don't worry about the formatting the formatting is something you can do you just walk around with it so after we have done this what is the next thing to do click on this and see what we have this is what we have linked to it so if i click right here right now i want to select this right now and have this here installed so right now we'll come back right here i just want to have this deselected and have this particular team leader right here that is beautiful we have just changed them so we hover over them we have different values but the one thing we had never done is actually make sure we use a separator right here to actually show what uh value it is you know in a comma separator based on tiles and stuff like that so we can do that to every part of it so you can go ahead and have it done so right now uh we want to start from here so if i hover over it right now you can see we have this gym symbol so we go ahead and have it clicked now this is what it is that we have so we want to give the percentage that's peculiar to this particular uh called uh team leader whatsoever so now we have this this percentage so we're gonna put it on the card we have it on card right now and uh, we just have to make it smaller and leave it this way so what am i gonna do i'm just gonna come down to this particular format and come all the way down to label the data a little bit right there so we're gonna have the color change but before we have the color changed so what is the first thing we are going to do is for us to make sure we come down to where we have this and make it on 25 and see what it is that we have 25 goes this way and it's cool we love it uh the next thing we're gonna do right now is just to change the color um the color is gonna be on white and we're gonna go right ahead and actually use this particular white color for it beautiful beautiful we can't see it right now we just have to turn off the ground uh, turn off the category and go ahead and turn off the background that we have right here so it can actually reveal what we have right here for us. so minimize it and make it some kind of smaller yep we have something like this we have to move this right here uh, i think it's some kind of too huge um going to go back to data, data label i want to actually go ahead and touch it a little bit and make sure it's going to be on 23 let's try 23 and see what we have on 23 is okay i'm going to have to do some kind of copy paste it and um so copy and have it pasted move it right here so make sure it sits right so copy have it pasted move this right here so it's, it's okay now what are we supposed to do to have everything we really wanted so just make sure you hover over this and see what it is that we have right here now this is the um this is what the, the uh, we have this particular quinton calls right here and we have this okay now we're just going to click on this and come right here and deselect this and we have to use this particular uh quinton i think i guess this is what it is so click on it and see what it is so we have the right percentage right on it so the next we're gonna do right now is just to make sure we come right here and have it changed to the right percentage as well and we go for this particular winner sin uh, winner sin <laughs> or don't know all right beautifully we have it created and this is what it is that we have just done that is nice so now we need to go to the next path of this particular uh showcase we are actually doing right here if we come right here right now we can see what we have that actually makes uh, our, our report very beautiful we're gonna have all this created but before then we just have to create all this now do we have to create all this from the scratch i guess no i can actually go ahead and copy from here to actually use right there because already i've shown you how to actually insert uh, a text box so i'm gonna go ahead and actually select all of them copy it make sure it's been copied i'm gonna go back and paste it right to the new one i'm doing so sorry guys i'm not trying to be lazy but sometimes a little bit oh uh, after the lazy i think we've not copied the right one so we just have to go back all the way back here go back and uh we have it copied copy i'm gonna go right here and say copy so right now we are very sure of it being copied sometimes if you use the control c it will not even work all right we have it so we just have to make sure we move it a little bit down okay nicely we're just gonna leave it this way now we have something like this so we just have to be sure of what we have i didn't really write for it so if i hover over this right now wow wrong 
So I just have to make sure I move it around. I'm going to take this one away from here while I bring this one on board. So bring this right here. Can you see that right now? So we just have to do that behind the scene to actually make sure we go ahead and do other things. All right, behind the scene, we have gotten this done. So what we need to do right now is just to come right and get to insert. And from insert, we want to insert a shape. And the kind of shape we want to insert is this particular type of shape right here. So we just have to minimize the shape and get this particular size here. I'm going to bring my shape down to this part. Here we go. I'm going to make sure I extend my shape this way. And I have to change the shape color, right? So yes, of course, go ahead and change the field color to the color that you think you can actually get cool with. So now something like this is cool. I'm going to have it closed. And for the, for the outline, I don't need any outline for it. So I have something like this. So one more shape needs to be created. So go ahead and go to shape area and go and grab this kind of shape. So now it is time to get this shape turned around. So we want to turn this shape around and see what we can create from it. So to turn the shape uh, around, we just have to go to where we can have it turned. So what you need to do right now, you can see this particular rotate right here. So you come to the rotate area here, and now you can play around to see how we can actually get it turned. But it's going to be some kind of like too weird if we keep rotating through it and guessing how it's going to actually be some kind of really okay. So what are you supposed to do? Just come right here and type 270. 270. Boom! That's exactly what you need to do. 270 helps us to actually get what we really want to achieve achieved. So we've achieved this, we just want to make sure we bring this down to this particular part here and adjust it to actually fit it to what you really want. And now I'm going to bring this down and I'm going to have something like this. So we have it, right? So this is what we need to have. So I'm just going to go ahead and see if this is sitting well. And if we go back to where we have the previous one, we can see nicely we have it done. So right now what I want to do is just to have this particular color change. I'm going to go to what? Go to field color, not the outline color. Go to field color and have the color change to this particular kind of color. I love this. It's beautiful. So we're still going to go ahead and change this color in a jiffy. So now that we have this one, I'm going to actually select every single thing and go to the format area right here and come to group and I'm going to have it group all together. So now it gives me the uh, flexibility to have it copied uh, if i copy and have it pasted right now i can now move the shape i have right here so ctrl c and ctrl v will help me copy it i can now move this down here uh ctrl c and ctrl v will help me do the same thing again oh sorry we don't have to yep get it away so copy it c v and we move it down all of that so we just got this created that is the first thing we have to do so make sure you don't tap on it while you want to move it else it's just gonna go this way on its separate way so we don't have to tap on it so we have to rearrange this to make sure it's right so i have highlighted all of them and i want to actually make sure i go right on this particular align and distribute uh horizontally sorry for that vertically is what i wanted to use i'm gonna go and say vertically and uh, the exactly so we want to actually push this back and then uh, we just go to the left want to just make it make sure it's come to, it comes to the left so the problem that is happening right now is that i have some double clicked and they are all highlighted so let me just arrange that so right now i can go and have it this highlighted highlight this and once we've done that go to format and go to align and say move it left and now we have it correctly the way it should be so now i'm not too cool with the color i have right here so i can actually have to double click this and go to this particular field color and i'm going to change the color to something like this something like this goes so we want to just make sure you tap on this and go right here and change the same color for it so go right here and tap on it make sure you're highlighting that alone and go right here and change the same color for it so right now it's time to get a particular color changed so let's see the color we have right it's just like white color so we want to go go ahead and tap it and go ahead and change the color right for it here and we're going to go right on this type of color we have it nicely so we want to change the color of this as well so for this color we just go ahead and change it to something uh, nicely just oh, like this cool so now when we have some images we have right here before we just start to create our analysis right now let us bring the images we have right in here what are those images step by step we can actually go ahead and bring those images right in so if we go right here 
those images is that they are the images we have downloaded and it's sitting somewhere right so i'm just gonna go right to this particular insert and from insert you can see our image box here and we just have to go right and bring the images we have right here let us try to locate what other images we've used and the first image i want to bring right here is this particular uh, type of image so we have it so we just have to make sure we make it smaller to sit right to where we want it to actually sit um, i'm gonna move it and i'm gonna go ahead and shape it the way i really want it so nicely we just have to be patient you just have to be patient so we have to selected it but we select back on it again and uh, we just make it smaller i bring it up can you see that so what you do is try to hold your shift key to do that particular kind of sizing so i'm gonna make it bigger and now it's covering a little bit i want to make sure I move it down using my arrow key and centralize it so if i go away right now this is what the feel i have right here so we need to get the other part of it right here so the one we have here shows to talk calls so we want to go right ahead and bring something that actually uh can tell story to the calls we go with this that is exactly what it is so we go with this particular kind of one we just brought in right now can you see that this is what it is so it's looking black and we don't see it so much okay we just have to go ahead and click on it and we have to bring it up okay i think we have a little bit error right now we just have to do control okay control okay we just have to go and bring it back again we click somewhere else to have it brought back go back again go ahead and scroll the way down and tap on it now we have it reflected somewhere else so we don't have to generate it something so i'm just gonna go ahead and take it down to this particular end and make sure it sits right a little bit i'm gonna, I'm gonna actually make sure make it smaller so rightly we have something like this so we need to get the next one is watch us the times of calls we need to get an image that actually you know tells such a story uh we scroll the way down to get like a clock a clock yep we have this double click on it and there we go we have it nicely so we just have to make sure we minimize it and get something like this i'm gonna go ahead and actually make it more smaller and we go ahead and make it smaller again okay now we just have to make sure it sits right here and i'm gonna use my down arrow to make sure i move it down that is what it is so now how do we go about this let's see what it is okay now this is what we have so we want to get our total calls it's very simple we have just gotten that calculated if you look at what we just got created right now it's just a, uh, a text box with you put in what you really want to have and now total call acceptance uh, call acceptance right here now to get this done what we need to do right now is for me to come down to this particular environment and now this is the fourth measure we had uh, created so we have it right here and now i'm gonna put it on a virtual card so here we have it but i'm not gonna take this uh i'm gonna go down to this particular format and i'm gonna come to data label i'm gonna go right here and i would have to use this particular uh this um none so we have to make sure we go ahead and you know stretch it uh, i'm gonna stretch i'm gonna stretch it down to this way then i can actually go ahead and make sure it's it's just right it sits right here so minimize this so rightly now we just have to turn off but before we have it turned off i want to make sure it's in white color that is the, the, the value so we just have to go ahead and turn off the what turn off the category for it we don't need category and uh, we just don't need title for it as well we have turned that off we just want to turn off the background uh, color as well so right now we can go ahead and make sure is some kind of uh, right on the right spot so now we can go ahead and copy this and have it pasted and i'm gonna move the copied one down to this particular aspect here i'm gonna do the same thing copy and have it pasted and move it down here and let's see what we can do and all of that so we have to write dax that is gonna actually help us to pull this right here because we don't have the right value to be here right now so we don't have the total handled time right now we need to create that likewise we don't have to tell calls to take acceptance created already so let's see how we can get that done so if we come to the table view right now we see this where we have call with acceptance call with offer 
and now we can go right here and see we have 33 calls and how many calls we accepted was some kind of 23 which means calls came in some of those calls that are being picked all of that so when i see how that goes all of that so we have to branch into so many of these columns but with time we do that so right now i'm just going to go back here and now we need to create that right on all measures now is where we need to have it created i'm going to create a new measure right now and on that damn new measure we have to name the new measure something that is related to what we want to use so that we can actually get to use that over and over again so here we go uh we just named it calls with acceptance so i'm gonna actually sum the column we just we just seen uh, previously so some of what calls with acceptance here we go the calls that we accepted when they come through it's just been picked by an agent so that is what it is but we cannot really tell if there is an offer right now so all we're just trying to do is calls with acceptance so we've just gotten this done this is exactly what we really need to actually have so right now we can go right here and click on it and have this deselected instead of reusing this i'm gonna use this right here you can see out of 50,000 plus calls this is what we have we have over 35 so i'm gonna go right here and have my separator right on it right nicely we're gonna have something beautiful now we can tell what it is now you can see out of 50,000 calls that came through only 35,000 was actually being picked out of that so now let us go for total handle time we need to get that calculated as well so let's see that so here is a column for the total handle times that we're gonna actually have to sum up together to see how uh, the calls how many time do we have all those calls last for and stuff like that so let us go ahead and have that created so what we can do right now is just to come right here and make sure you're still clicking on this and we need to insert a new what a new uh measure so we need to create a new measure right now so we don't have to write it complicated sometime on the analysis so some people are scared of power bi because they think oh, some dax i hate dax i don't know how to write dax so i'm gonna type in total handled time so it's gonna be equal to sum of handle so sum of handle time and that is exactly what we need to do that is all that is all we just need to do so we need to be sure if it is a whole number or a decimal or whatsoever that is all we just have to get sure of so because it is a whole number i just want to go and use my comma separate right on it and now once we have done that so we just have to come here and click on this and just change this into total handle time right here so or before we do that we just have to deselect this away from here and have this applied out of that so nicely we have just gotten this done so there is something we have to do let me go to the previous one and show you what i'm talking about right here on the previous one here we have this that actually tell uh, us what the, story, what the story is like and what i'm trying to say right now if someone else comes to a report the person needs to understand what is going on right here so we can see we have um this that actually tells the story this report is a sales um sorry for that so this report is a simulated three months view of operational metrics for call center so we need to get it right there we don't have to write this over and over again guys so you know how that can be uh, it can be some kind of too stressful and not too stressful that would matter uh, we need to keep the report very short with some little time and we just have to put this right here we go and create some other things so now we have some navigation right here that we created to navigate through other part of our dashboard which we're going to be doing in our next video we've just gotten this done uh, for the filter aspects right now we just have to create a filter for it and how do we go ahead and create this filter we have to visit power query to have that particular filter created because we don't have the right uh, month number right here the way i have it right here created so we need to actually make sure we configure this month six month seven and month eight right here so to do that we just have to go back and go back here from here we need to go to home and from home transform and uh, we go to power query all right welcome back to power query environment so we need to locate the date area so here is the call date so from the call date we can go and add column add column and we're going to click on from selection and when we click on from selection what are we going to do we need to actually get something very important done so right here uh, on the column area right here i'm going to type in month number so month number is what i'm going to type in here so after i might have done it the month number typed in and uh, we're going to look at where is the column we're going to be using so let's see where the column is so i'm going to drag this down to this end 
so the column we need to transform that we've just okay now here is the column right here so we don't double click on this here we have this i'm going to type in six and i'm going to hit enter and now it's just going to actually flash fill just like a zell for me and what i need to do is just to say okay right now i've just done this so this is a supporting column that we are just using so right now i have three months existing right here can you see that three months existing so the next thing i'm going to do right now is just to actually say uh create from selection again just like what i've done right here from example that is i'm going to give from selection and this time around i'm going to save month's name month month's name sorry for that month name hit enter so what am i going to do for the month name to be created is for me to actually say okay right now double click on this i'm going to say month so put a dash on it month six hit enter i have all of them created for me i'm going to click on ok and now i have this so we've just gotten what we really wanted from here created so nicely what are we supposed to do i told you this is my supporting column because i want to keep my file size very you know a little i'm going to go ahead and actually truncate this remove this column away from here i don't need it because i have just gotten this created and if you look at what we have right here we have month six month seven and month eight so right now we are very good to go and create the kind of filter i want to have right on a dashboard so what we need to go back to home and close and apply will be what we need to actually uh take as an option so we're going to be having this right here in a jiffy and once we have it right here we can go ahead and add it to your filter and we can start uh some kind of you know filtering to our data okay right now i'm going to click on filter before you click on filter make sure you have no any visual click done so go ahead and click on slicer so once we have a slicer in so we just got something created we can search it right here i'm going to see month and we have month name right here so we just have to click on that month name and this is what we have so we need to format it the way we really want it so that we can actually go ahead and take control of our yeah we go right here we'll search for that i'm gonna go on item and that uh, we just can play around with color how it feels and all of that so the outline how do you want it and all of that so there are a lot a lot of things you can actually do right here so but the basic one i want to go through right now is going to be this so go to general right here from general you can actually change it from vertical to horizontal this is what we need to go and ahead and do and i'm going to actually make sure i make it some kind of something i really wanted so i'm going to go ahead and drag it all the way down down to this expert here i'm going to make sure it's, it's just right so once i have it here right now uh, i want to go right and make sure we turn off what we turn off the background color so there is no background for it so we have something like this so we can change the uh, color we can control the color the font color we can control it uh, to something like black and all of that so we can control anything right here but right now let us test our filter and see if this filter uh that is nice that is nice pretty nice can you see that it's working so well for us it's working so well so right now we need to do some little formatting and all of that so we've just got it done so the one we have actually selected is going to be on this particular dark gray and all of that so we have something that is created in the next video we're going to be taking a look at how to create the other part of the report so your comment is very important guys so go ahead and leave a comment so but we to keep this particular tutorial very short so we need to actually make sure we do it by and by and in the next video we're going to be creating any of this and all of that so give you a very nice visual and make sure you represent your data nicely the way it should be and create a very nice background for your dash but that is the key sometimes we need to we know how to actually write those particular functions and our code or uh, dax whatsoever but the problem we are having is how to present this data to make it seen tell a very nice story storytelling has to do with some kind of design and stuff like that you know when we come uh when we talk about when we talk about data and all of that so now guys thanks for watching if you are still here you're awesome you're pretty awesome so i love you guys so subscribe share and let this particular channel be seen you know worldwide and all of that so thanks for watching from anywhere from india from uh from africa from jamaica any country you are united states and stuff like that i have indians to be one of the huge fans of this particular channel so i want to say thank you thank you thank you very much so bless you all keep watching keep watching that our decision and keep sharing keep leaving a comment keep liking and all of that so see you in the next video click on the what on the uh next link and actually all the next card whatsoever to see the next video we are going to be creating right on this channel so thanks